Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Esther and today I will be showing you how to make this beautiful mermaid top. Uh, this one is for my niece. She is five years old and I make uh, this one for one to two years old using the same cap. Uh, the change is right here where at the time when you connect these two pieces together. As you can see, I did more rows here. Okay, I will be using a three millimeters crochet hook. Um, we need the two of these pearls. And I will be using, this is Sinfonia. It's 100% cotton and it's a sport weight. You can use any baby light yarn or three fly. Okay, here is the number of the color, rosa. I start by making one slip knot on the hook. And we are going to be making eight chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Uh, starting on the second chain from the hook, we are going to be making one single crochet. Continue making one single crochet across for a, for a total of seven single crochets. Okay, and this is the number seven. Okay, for the second row, make one chain. And uh, for making this easy to see it, that the, when we come back here, just place a marker on the chain. This is going to count as the first stitch. Now we're going to be working on this, uh, taking only the back loop of the stitch. So the chain one is one stitch, so we're going to skip this one. On the next stitch, taking the back loop, make one single crochet. With the chain one, I have two, three, four, five, and six uh, stitches. On the last single crochet, we are going to be making one increase. One and two single crochets in the same space. Chain one and turn. Now for this side, the chain one is not going to count as a stitch. On the first um, single crochet, we're going to be making one increase. Make two single crochets in the same place. One, go back to the same uh, space and make one more single crochet. So in this side, the chain one doesn't count as a stitch. Continue making single crochets. I have one, two, three, four, five, and six. And now here on the chain, on the chain one, Remove the marker. We are going to be taking the back loop of the chain here. And make one single crochet. So now we have the two here and then one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven single crochets. Chain one again. If you want, you can place the marker. I won't do that, so I will skip the next stitching. On the next, I will be making one single crochet, taking the back loop. I have two with the chain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight single crochets. On the last stitch, we're going to be making two single crochets. One, and two. For the row number five, chain one and turn. Uh, remember that, um, that on this side, the chain one doesn't count as a stitch. So go to the first stitch here, taking the back loop, make two single crochets, one and two. Continue making single crochet all the way down, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, and here on the chain one, taking the back loop, make one single crochet. I have nine single crochets plus the two here, it's 11. Chain one and turn. We are going to be skipping the first single crochet, so go to the next stitch and make one single crochet. With the chain one, I have two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So on the on the last stitch, we're going to be making two stitches together, taking the back loop only, one and two. Chain one and turn, make two single crochets on the, in the first single crochet, one, go back to the same space and make one more, so I have two. Now continue making single crochet across, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven, here on the chain one. For the row number eight, chain one and turn, turn your work, Keep the first single crochet, go to the second one and make one single crochet. With the chain one, I have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. On the last single crochet, we're going to be making one increase, one and two single crochets in the same space. Now for the number nine, chain one and turn, make two single crochets in the same, in the first stitch. Remember that we are taking only the back loop and now finish with a single crochet across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen single crochets after the two uh, single crochets here at the corner. Okay, for the number ten, Chain one and turn, skip the first single crochet, go to the second one and make one single crochet taking the back loop. With the chain one, I have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, and make two single crochets in the last stitch, one and two. Chain one and turn. For the number 11, make two single crochet in the first single crochet here, one and two. Now finish making single crochet across, one, two, three, four, five, Thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Remember that we have the chain one here. So go to the chain one, and we have fifteen single crochets plus the two here at the corner. Seventeen single crochets. 
So now we are finishing making the increases here. We are going to start decreasing. So for the number 12, chain one and turn. Skip the first stitch, go to the second stitch and make one single crochet. The chain one here counts as the first stitch. Continue making single crochet. I have three here with the chain one, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14 and 15 single crochets. We are going to leave these last two stitches on work. Um, now, do not chain one, okay? Just turn your work, skip the first stitch, go to the second stitch, taking the back loop, make one slip stitch, chain one, go to the next stitch, the stitch after the slip stitch and make one single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And one last stitch here. Okay, I, I have my 13 single crochets. Now for the number 14, chain one and turn. Skip the first stitch. Go to the second one. And make one single crochet. With the chain one, I have two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve stitches. Okay, I need to make one more. We are going to be leaving the last two stitches on work. So I have the chain one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen stitches. Now turn your work, skip the first stitch, go to the second stitch and make one slip stitch. One chain, go to the stitch after the slip stitch, start making this single crochet. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then here on the chain one. This is hard to see it. Okay. Then one more here. And now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven single crochets. Chain one and turn, skip the first stitch, go to the next, make one single crochet. With the chain one, I have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven single crochets. We're going to uh, leave the last two stitches in work. Turn your work, skip the first stitch, take the back loop of the second one, make one slip stitch, one chain, go to the stitch right after the slip stitch and start making the single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Eight and one more here. We're going to have nine stitches. Okay, uh, 
chain one and turn. I have the first single crochet made. I skip this one. Go to the second one. I have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine stitches. To leave the last two stitches on work, turn your work, skip the first stitch and make one slip stitch in the second one, make one chain, go to the next stitch after, right after the slip stitch and start making this single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven stitches we are done with this part it's very easy okay uh, we are finished with that now chain one and we are going to be working along this side after the chain one we're going to be skipping this um row here go to the next one insert your hook pull up a loop skip this uh, loop here go to the next row Insert your hook, pull up a loop. You have two, three, three loops on the hook. Turn over and go through all the three loops. Skip this loop here and go to the next stitch. Make one, bring up, uh, pull up a loop. Skip the, this uh, loop here. Go to the next stitch here and you have three loops on the hook. Turn over and go through all of them. Skip the next loop insert your hook in the next row skip the next this loop here go to the next stitch three loops on the hook yarn over and go through all of them just repeat okay one more time here and then just finish making one single crochet on the corner one and turn we're going to be skipping this uh the, this one and this uh, stitch go to the middle one okay. bring up a loop skip this stitch and go to the next one now we have three loops on the hook okay now we're going to chain one two three and four Turn. We are going to be working with um, triple crochet, so yarn, yarn over twice, one and two times. Go to this space here and make one triple crochet. We are going to be making five triple crochets in total. I have two, three, four. One more, five, one, two, three, and four chains. Go back to the same space and make one slip stitch. And now you can cut the turn. We have the first, we need to make one more. I have the two ready here. And I already attached the pearl. These are eight millimeters. And I will show you how to connect the two pieces together and then how to do the straps. Okay, for that, we are going to be taking this one here. Make sure to look for the first stitch here on the corner make one slip stitch and now one and two chains go to the next stitch and make one double crochet go to the next stitch and make one double crochet with the chain two at beginning we have three stitches one and two chains and turn 
go to the middle stitch here and make one double crochet and make one double crochet on top of the chain two make one chain and cut the yarn leaving about eight inches I have my tapestry needle here ready I will take this piece here first I will go to the top of the double crochet here and then I will look for the stitch here in the corner go to the next stitch here it's going to be this one take the stitch from the middle and now on the chain two and look for the next stitch here Just make a few more stitches here. And you're done attaching the two pieces together. And for the pearls, I, I just did it with a needle and thread. Okay, now we'll show you how to make the straps. Okay, we're going to start by attaching the yarn here on the top of the, this row here is the number 11. So look for these two loops. Insert your hook and make one slip stitch. And we need to make chains, two, three, four, five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve i did 75 chains and now we're going to go down starting on the second chain from the hook with one slip stitch you'll continue making a slip stitch on each chain all the way to the to the top here You will make 74 slip stitches. I need to make one more slip stitch. And then I will finish making one slip stitch right here where we started. One chain and you can cut the turn. And you need to repeat the same process for this corner here, um, this one right here, and this one right here too. I need to make one more slip stitch, and then I will finish making one slip stitch right here where we started. One chain, and we can cut the turn. And you need to repeat the same process for this corner here. Um, this one right here and this one right here too. Okay, I am finished here. I did 75 chains um, for each strap. And now I will show you how to make this beautiful star. Okay, for the star, I will uh, use white. Start by making one magic circle. And I am using the same uh, three millimeter crochet hook. So by making one and two chains, uh, these are not going to count as a stitch. So go back to the circle and make 15 double crochets. I have one, two, three, four, five, 
I have 15 um, double crochets. Now I will close the magic circle. Make one slip stitch on top of the first double crochet here. This is the double crochet. So insert your hook here and make one slip stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven chains. Starting on the second chain from the hook, make one single crochet. On the next chain, half double crochet. Next chain is going to be one double crochet. And on the next three chains, I will be making extended double crochet. So yarn over once, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through only one loop, yarn over, go through two loops, yarn over, go, go through two loops. Yarn over again, insert your hook in the next chain, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through one loop, yarn over, go through two loops, yarn over and go through two loops. And make one more here on the last chain. Skip the next two stitches, one, two, and on the third, make one slip stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven chains. Make one single crochet in the four and second chain. Next uh, is going to be one half double crochet, one double crochet, and on the next uh, ch three chains, we are going to be making extended double crochet. One, two, and three. Skip the next. Uh, two stitches, one, two, and on the next one, make one slip stitch, and just repeat this three more times. And when, when you're done, just make one slip stitch here when you where you started. One chain, and you can leave a long tail so you can switch to the top. I already attached here the pearl to the um, star with the um, needle and thread and I have ready here my yarn needle. So we finish here, just make sure to go down a little bit like this and then you can start stitching here. Just like that. Okay. Uh, we can make one more stitch here. ready okay just like that and now just try to put here to the stitches and now you can cut the yarn like that I have ready these two cups these ones are exactly the same size as these ones here. Um, but to make it bigger, I will show you how to connect these two pieces together. Okay, uh, we are going to look here on the corner for the first stitch here. We're going to be making one slip stitch, one and two chains. Go to the next stitch and make one double crochet. Make 
Next stitch is going to be one double crochet. We have three double crochets here. One and two chains, and these ones count as the first double crochet. Go to the next stitch and make one double crochet. Make one double crochet on top of the chain two. One and two chains. Go to the second stitch and make one double crochet. And make one double crochet here on top of the chain uh, two at the beginning. I will make one more row, one and two chains. Go to the middle stitch and make one double crochet. Make one double crochet here on top of the chain two. And this way is going to be a little like bigger than this one here. Let me show you. If you need to make it like a, a little bigger, just make a one or, or two more rows before uh, connecting them together. And I will make one chain. I will take my first stitch here. And I will look for the first stitch right here. And I will be making one slip stitch. Take the next stitch here and the next stitch from the other side and make one slip stitch and finish with one more slip stitch here. And this one will fit my niece as she is five years old. And another thing that I want to share with you is if you don't want to, to go down with the slip stitches, just make chains. That's what I did here. I made, uh, for my niece, I made 80 chains. And I didn't went uh, like down with slip stitch. Okay, this one is going to fit a girl between one and two years old. And I will show you how to make it a little bigger. Okay, the one for my niece, it's about eight inches. And this one for, for one to two years, is about six inches right here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys can make this beautiful top. Don't forget to subscribe and give us a like. And if you want to make it this one like that bigger, just add more rows here. Thank you and have a wonderful day.